Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Weedy Reptiles. Today's episode is going to be about how I prepare my bearded dragon salad. I've had a lot of requests about how I prepare and what I use, so today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. To start off, what I use is uh, sweet peppers. I like them because, first, they have a nice little flavor, they have some hydration with water, um, they carry you know, good sweet taste, um, they're good for them, they like them. And uh, they're nice and colorful, so it draws them to the salad. Just like Beardy Bites are great for salad to um, encourage eating. These are as well the same thing because they have a sweet smell. They're more of a natural thing and, um, you know, they're colorful. So that's what the Beardies look for. What I also use is um, collard greens. This is the stuff that I get at my uh, local uh, supermarket. Collard greens are the highest count of calcium inside of most leafy green vegetables. So that's why I prefer them out of uh, most vegetables. I mean, <clears throat> you could use like kale and stuff like that, but kale actually has a property of like spinach. And everybody that reads the book about bearded dragons knows that spinach is not good because spinach actually draws calcium out the body. So being that as it is, kale probably is not your best choice. I personally prefer collard greens. They come in these big, large bundles like so. You'll see them come in the stock. Just take off the rubber bands. Always make sure you give it a good rinsing. Make sure you rinse all the leaves in between. Because what they do is they'll come in again, they'll bundle up. And you just want to get everything in there all moist and wet, and rinsed off properly. I already rinsed most of it off. I rinse them actually as soon as I get them here to the house. So that way there's no bugs in my refrigerator. A little a little fidgety about stuff like that. You just take off the large stalks. I save these. I save all the stalks and all the leftovers from the vegetables for my feeders, like crickets and supers and stuff like that. That way they have something to eat on and I don't have to buy vegetables or fruits for them. So that's a little savings as it is. <laughs> and what we're gonna do is like I did before, I'm gonna explain to you. What you do is you get it and you just cut the leaf off, the center stalk, right down the middle. Don't worry if you leave a little bit behind because like I said, you want to use this for your feeders. So you want to give them a little meat on there. And plus also, whatever your feeders eat will also transfer into your animal, your dragons, your beardies. So when you feed them, you want to feed them stuff that has high in calcium as well. Because that way their calcium levels as well go higher. And when the beardies eat them, they transfer that to, their, to themselves. And what I do is, I, like I say, I line them up like that, each side, one by one. And uh, I do the whole thing because what I do is I fill the whole container up and uh, that way I can do this. This will save me time because otherwise I'll have to cut fresh salad every morning. And not that I don't like to, it's just with the amount of animals that I have, I try to cut back a little bit of the uh, time spent in the morning before I go to work. That way I have an extra bit of time to cuddle with my babies. <clears throat> These blueberries are just a treat. It's not a guarantee, not an everyday thing. I just brought them because, you know, I usually do. but. This is more for my skink. I give some to the beardies because they do like them. But um, typically that's all it is. I'm gonna go ahead and pause real quick, finish up the cutting, and I'm gonna show you guys how I cut it up. All right, so what I've done is I've cut a nice little stack. Like I said, I keep all the stalks over here. You don't wanna feed this to your beardies. This isn't what they're supposed to eat. This is more, like I said, for your feeders. So just put these aside, don't throw them away. If you have a feeder bin or anything like that, it's the best thing to do is put that there with them. So like I said, I get the leaves and I line them all up like a nice little stack. Bring my knife out and I roll this up like into a burrito. Nice little lined up burrito. And I just start to cut. I try to cut like nice thin lining so that way it's not so big of a piece for them. I mean, it's not that they have a problem eating it, but uh, I prefer to give them the smaller slices. See, the thinner they are, I think it's got good because it's going to be a long slice anyway, so it's kind of like spaghetti. <clears throat> now, you get that part done, try to line it all back up, give it a nice chop down the middle a couple times because you do have, I mean, it depends on if you have juveniles or babies, you want to make some small, small pieces for the little guys. Toss that into your bowl. Make sure you get it all because... When you, bet, you line it up like that, what it'll do is it'll bundle up and then when you pull it out, it'll be nice, tall, like it'll be, you know, pieces that are stuck together. It'll be uh, too thick and it's not going to be good. See, uh, I don't typically 
not fill this whole bowl. What I do is I'll fill the whole bowl, feed, and then refill because this whole stock of collard greens can fill that entire bowl twice. So typically one feeding would give me a quarter bowl less. So that's typically what I do there. And I'm going to pull out like five good size sweet peppers. The nice colors, oranges and reds and stuff like that. Give them a good rinsing. And uh, these as well, what I just do is I take the tops off. You have to de-seed them. Beardies don't want the seeds. I just throw the tops off. This stuff you can save as well for your uh, feeders, but I prefer not to. I don't know, it's just not my liking. Just de de seed everything. And just cut into like slivers. What I do is I go ahead and I cut nice little slices. Nothing too big, because this stuff is a little more dense than the, the collard greens is. So you don't want a piece too large. So pieces like so, you know, not too big. Something they can get in their mouth and not have to work on it. So you just throw that in there. And you continue on until you're done. All right, guys, so once you're done, this will be your result. You'll have nice greeny, greeny leaves with some pretty reds and oranges for their sweet peppers. And like I said, the colors will draw them to that, so it'll help them want them want their veggies more. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring this up to the girls with uh, their supers, and you guys will see how I feed their supers, salads, and their continuous breakfast. Old 